them. They're part of the family. Well, sometimes we're not doing the right things. Joining us today with That Place for Pets for Training Tips Tuesday, we've got Andrea Renner in to help us more. And I think this is an interesting topic because you adopt a pet, you bring them in your home, you want them to be part of the family, but sometimes we just don't do the right things or don't know even maybe what the right thing might be. Yes, absolutely. Um, definitely. I mean, dogs are the number one most popular pet in America. Um, but there's like, I think, two million dogs or so in just Ohio. And then yet... 200,000 of those end up in shelters or places for us to, mm -hmm. to try to go and adopt. So clearly we're failing them, mm -hmm. you know, to a point. And I think a lot of it is we see this cute, fun little thing, especially as puppies. Right. They're yeah, cute. The puppies are the we best, let puppies right? get away with everything. <laughs> You know, they don't want to correct or whatever it may be, and then they end up in the shelter. Then you turn around and we think we're also doing the right thing. Let's go adopt a dog. Um, but then the dogs might have some, a little bit of anxiety. They might have whatever that quirk or issue was that put them there in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times though, I do feel like it's, it's a separation thing. It's a fear thing. Um, and we want to coddle into that. And that's actually doing more harm to them as well. So, so how do you like adjust and fix these things? If the dog's got anxiety and stuff like that, is that where you guys come in and you could do trainings and give us tips? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of behaviors that if you really just sit down to try to figure out what's the root of the behavior, um, that there can be training that will be able to help it out. Um, there's a lot of areas though too that that might just be the dog okay. so then but still how can we though help the dog live the best life that they can in your environment um, and you not having to completely rearrange your life either you know mm -hmm. that's the other thing yeah we, we're yes a compromise <laughs> um, but definitely like when there if there's a little fear there Working with a trainer is probably good because, you know, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to just push them in like, it's almost like you're throwing them in the deep end. Uh -huh. But a lot of times what I, I tend to see is people wanting to hold them, like hodl them, like, oh, it's okay. You know, that's not, I mean, treat it like, you know, think about toddlers. That's kind of the mentality that they have. Okay. Mm -hmm. if I, my three-year-old, I'm not going to want my three-year-old to be afraid of thunder forever. There's mm -hmm. no reason to be scared of thunder, but there's nerves and scared. They're scared. How can you help them work through that? And mm -hmm. definitely like feeding into it and being like, oh, yes, I know, I know. And like, that's not helping the situation. Right, yeah. All right, so, I mean, there's ways to work these things out, and um, and you can live with them. I mean, you talked about compromise. I mean, yeah. I feel like, you know, you talk about exploring the breeze and making sure you know, yes. like, this one, you know, can, can be hyper. This one likes yes. to do a lot. Is that also part of it? Even if you go to look in a shelter, you know, that this kind of mix of a breed, it might have these tendencies. Yes, I would definitely research. We always say that. Research right. the breeds. And there's a lot of mixed breeds, so research all the breeds that that dog may be mixed with. We know that, obviously, at, at shelters or rescues, they don't fully know the whole backstory. And, and unfortunately, I think that's part of it, too. There's sometimes a made-up backstory you're not sure like again there's just nervousness there but that could just be from a lot of things but with breed um, like doodles I mean doodles are extremely popular right now Lab, labradoodles and the uh, golden doodles tend to be the most boingy that I say <laughs> okay, they have a ton yeah. of energy you're looking at that for two years and you gotta know so, that right? yeah yeah and, and everybody wants the doodle it doesn't shed or it doesn't do this and it's gonna be a, it will be a good family dog but mm -hmm. you have to put the effort and the investment into some type of training you know something even if it's not you get it as a puppy they're not doing anything wrong the misconception I feel like with training is that we only get training once there's an issue Okay. Do the training before there's the issue. Right. Set that stage, right? Set the foundation for that dog to understand what's expected. Even if you get them at one and a half and you just adopted them, what's the, the expectation for your household? And let's start building them a foundation to grow right. off of. I think that's great advice. Don't fail your dog and your family at the same time. You can work it out and get these things yeah. done. All right, thanks for coming today. That's yeah, great stuff. You. All right, don't go away. First edition continues in a moment.